Hello guys and gals and welcome to the fifth part of the how to make a game new for series. Uh, in this video we're gonna make some general improvements to make this playable. So let's get started. First I want to scale this this platform to like Y3. So it's wide enough for our ball. Let's see now. Let me check. Yeah that should be good. So after this I want to make some barriers so our ball, ball doesn't fall down. So let's just go into modes, just drag out a cube over here and let's just place it right there. And let's enable snapping. That's that's actually already enabled. Just click this button. And let's see now. That's that should be good. And if you now hold down Alt and drag this way, then it's gonna duplicate the thing. And now you can place two of them. I'm gonna drag this out a little bit more. Now I'm gonna scale the X up to like thousand. Uh, that that wasn't such a good idea to be honest. But okay let's just drag this away okay that that was absolutely too far and a little more oh actually we have to scale this up to 10,000 let's just drag this okay and that should be good enough nobody's looking backwards anyways uh, and we're just gonna delete this one. We're just gonna hold alt and drag this one out That should be good So let's press play now This should be good. Now. Let's just scale the walls up a little bit uh, To like 10 or no 8 8 should be good So let's just scale up this one That should be good and now let's just apply material to this. Go to shutter content materials and drag out the M wood floor wall not worn. Uh, this is gonna be distorted. I'm gonna tell you how to fix this. Just go into the material and you see you see all these texture coordinates. Just make a multiply. Uh, just right click and search for object scale. And mask, mask this out to RNG and then multiply it. Multiply it, then just hook this in wherever this one is connected, uh, just like that. Let's just copy this so that we don't have to do this over and over again. Take these three notes, press Ctrl C. And press Control V, Control V, and Control V, and uh, drag these three out so that you can multiply them easily. So just multiply, multiply, and multiply. Ah, let's just, uh, I'm gonna remove these connections because they're a bit confusing right now. Remove this one, then remove this one. So let's just drag this one here and then multiply it. Drag this one here, multiply it. Drag this one here and then multiply it. So it's going to be less, less confusing now. So we can just go on and just plug this into there, there, there. Just the respective pins. That should be good enough. Now, if we apply this, this is gonna take a while to load. Uh, I'm gonna cut this video and I'm gonna come back when it's done. So, yeah, the shader compile is done now and it's looking pretty decent. I just want to reduce the reflectivity of this. So, I'm just gonna go for specular 
Uh, actually, uh, it's fine right now. I don't think we need anything else. The only thing I want now is this floor looks really bad. So I've got a bunch of textures served up to apply on the floor. So these are, uh, these textures are gonna be in the description. I'm gonna put them in a Google Drive. So I'm gonna right click new folder textures. Uh, I like to keep things organized, otherwise it gets real hard. Let's make another folder, call this one carpet. And open this up, and I'm just gonna drag the textures in. And here we go, I'm gonna make a material. Name this carpet. Open this up, and I'll, actually I'm going to click both of these and drag them in. And I'm gonna oh actually wait up delete these and then I'm gonna tell you a really good shortcut for making your textures good. Go to the start starter content materials grass and then copy this entire thing out except for the output node. Except for this node. Copy everything out and then paste it right over here. And then drag this down. So that's the grass material from the starter content. We just brought it here and now set this to base color. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, not this. Uh, Alt and click to remove it. Set this to base color. This to roughness. And this to the normal. That's gonna make the grass texture, but to fix this, we're gonna go up here, take this texture sample in this to our carpet diffuse then we're gonna take this text sample is this one too to carpet diffuse and then we're gonna take this text sample and change this to carpet normal so now we're almost done except we, we still need to add the scaling things which I told you last time so we're just gonna copy it from there like copy and then paste this multiply this and hook this in paste this multiply this and hook this in to this one and to let's see here where to this one and let's drag this out make two more and two more and hook this in multiply this plug this in multiply this one and then plug it in that is oh we, we're still got one left uh Okay then just hook every single texture coordinate in and then up, apply and this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause the video so we're done compiling so let's check this out let's find the texture I mean material over here and drag, drag it out to this oh I forgot one thing you see these dirty patches that's a part of the grass thing so we gotta remove that so let get over the here and remove this this whole part that grass color multiply and the lerp and delete this and plug this multiply into this lerp and and to the other lerp and that's gonna be it we we have to compile again so I'm gonna come after we've done compiling so yeah we done compiling and the structure doesn't look too bad not too shabby so let's just press play yep that's not too shabby so I just want to make some adjustments to the blueprint just make this a bit playable so let's uh, set the velocity to like 1200 or like 1100 and the jump impulse to like 150,000 uh, 150, compile this nice for spray and 
this, you know, that is too much bounce. Let's just set this back to like 80,000, maybe. Compile this. Press play. That, that should be good. And the speed is too less now. And so I'm gonna increase the velocity again to like 1600. And I want to sideways impulse to like minus 80. So let's check this out. Yep, that is good. That is good enough. I'm just gonna put the velocity to 1400 and then we're done for this video. That should be enough for this video. Let's just test this out. Yeah, that is perfect. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. That should be enough for this. this these were some just minor adjustments which were needed for this. So see you guys later. Please like and subscribe if, if it helped you yeah, by the way.